Oh, it's not supposed to be on Wi Fi. thing is not okay there we go I think we get oh. hello it's my birthday <laughs> anyhow let me stick my guy and a flag in there can't forget where I was born Diana my born Diana my grow this is a birthday gift so okay doing this live stream for my birthday hi Jermaine being all extra today. Yes, I'm a daughter of the king. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, stay on my head, crown. I will just ditch this crown down. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. The head is not so big after all. <laughs> Anyhow, I wanted to come online and do this Facebook Live. You know, it's once in a far. We do a Facebook Live. The Facebook Live queen is... She's not here today, surprisingly. Wow. Any who's Good, lovely people here. Stay in place. Okay. I wanted to come online and just give God some praise and thanks. My stereo doesn't work. So I don't have any background music. But... Update. That's not a password for that. What? Oh, thank you. Okay. I'm just gonna wait and share this to my page, and then I'm going to go ahead. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Fiona Dova. Thank you. So, welcome, welcome, lovely people. Welcome. It's my birthday. Okay. Uh, where are you? I'm gonna share, share it. So I came online to just give some shout outs and just tell people thank you so much for all the birthday wishes that have been coming in so far. My godfather is here visiting Uncle Leland Paul. Come on, crown. And I'm just so happy to celebrate 35 years. Hey, it's not 35 days. Some people just never see 35. Some don't even see 25. Alicia girl, I remember. I'll never forget you. Every birthday I celebrate, I remember. You were supposed to be celebrating together, but you never got to see 35. But today, it's about celebrating life. So, go ahead, share, share, share if you come on. And I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for this lovely day. The sun came out. I feel special. I feel loved. The sun came out. It's a new day dawning. Okay. One last share on my... Uh... Hey, ladies. Blossom, <laughs> but okay. So I just want to say thank you to whoever's going to come online and see the stream and, and whoever's going to see it afterwards. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been sending me by the greetings so far. I really and truly just want to thank the Lord for this day. Thank Him for life. Thank Him for giving me. The opportunity to see 35. Some people don't want to talk about the ages, but I just want to thank God. 
it's been 35 years since I'm on this earth. Oh my goodness. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. So today when I woke up, the first thing I did was I gave God praise and thanks. And I thank him for life. I thank him for strength. I thank the Lord for just giving me joy, complete joy. The, the Lord said the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I just want to thank him that he's given me joy, joy unspeakable, joy full of glory. I just worship him because he's an amazing God. And so while uh, I've been looking at different, different messages that have been coming in for the day, I want to say thank you, everybody, for the greetings. Thank you for all of the lovely greetings that you've been giving me so far. Um, may your joy be complete in Jesus. And so, the Lord gave me this nice little song, it's called, My Joy is Complete, and I want to sing it for you all, and just encourage you as I encourage myself. My joy is complete, Ooh. my joy is complete, in you. He said, come unto me, and I'll give you rest, and make your joy complete. Oh, my joy is complete. Ooh, my joy is complete in you. He said, come unto me, and I'll give you rest, and make your joy complete. So today, I am so grateful to be really and truly celebrating 35 years that the Lord is making my joy complete. I remember 13 years ago when I entered a new land, a strange place, and there was a scripture that God gave me to encourage me as I journeyed along. And I think about the last, what, 12 years, 13 years of my life, and how God has been so faithful to me. I think about the last year and this year and how God has brought me to the second quarter I just want to give him praise and thanks and Hebrews 10 and 35 imagine 35 years old and the Lord reminded me of this 35 it says do not throw away your confidence which has a great reward for you need endurance so that after you have done God's will you may receive what was promised I thank the Lord that this word is still potent. The word of God is still potent. I, I still have one of those Bibles that you can turn the pages and box them. And I wrote it down. I never forget that God promised me that if I stay confident in Him, if I endure, He's going to bring to pass every promise that He has for me. So I thank the Lord today that on this 35th day or 35th year of my life, and God is bringing to pass the promises that he made 13 years ago. The promises that he made um, 6 and 7 years ago. And I know that my joy is going to be complete. I really just want to thank him because, you know, sometimes you go through some challenges. And you tend to worry about how life will turn out. Today, I am here. I remember my friend Alicia who would have turned 25 the year that she was gone down, and I can never forget that. Hi, my kids. Hey, Elder, Emperor. Thank you. <laughs> I came online to just let everybody who wants to say happy birthday to say it to me in person. Well, virtually. But I'm just really glad for all of the wishes that have been coming in so far. Yeah, I remember Alicia when we were talking and so on and we were looking forward to celebrating 25 years and that was 10 years ago and she never made it and I've always made it a point to remember not to take life for granted because you could be here today and the next moment you could be gone and so when I think about Philippians 4 and 6 it says don't worry about anything but in everything through prayer and petition with thanksgiving make your request known so I am thanking God 
I have made so many petitions before the Lord, but I'm thanking God that t today I'm seeing the hand of the Lord working in my life. I am seeing the favor of the Lord operating in my life. I am seeing God's goodness, and I'm so grateful for that. His peace that surpasses my very understanding guides my heart. His peace that surpasses my thoughts guides my mind because my mind is in Jesus Christ. There have been so many things, let me tell y'all, that could have break me down, but if it had not been for the Lord Jesus on my side, I don't think I would even be here doing this live stream. And then when I skip back from Philippians to Corinthians, 2 Corinthians and 4, 17 to 18, it says, For a momentary light afflictions are producing for us an abund uh, absolutely incomparable eternal weight of glory so we do not focus on what is seen but on what is unseen for what is seen is temporary but what is unseen is eternal and thank god at what i cannot see the lord is making visible for me it's eternal dear treasures i have treasures in the lord jesus and i'm so grateful then he saw it fit to allow me to come into this earth and to enjoy the beautiful treasures that he has for me. And you know, what do I have to, to um, be thankful for for 35? When I came into work this morning, the goodness uh, Marison asked me, what are you doing for your birthday? I said, I'm not really doing anything for my birthday that's out of the ordinary. I'm just going to... Um, uh, have a night of worship on wonders. I always wanted to do that. So on next week, Saturday, I'm going to have a night of worship on wonders with me and uh, the Archbishop Keith Anderson is there. <laughs> and Sister Adele, my sister, the uh, very, uh, what do you call it, fiery worship leader. And some of my other friends who are in worship and in ministry together with me and I just want to give back to the to the uh, people of God to the community and just want to have fellowship and really just give God thanks I don't ever take it for granted that the Lord has brought me this far and you know that there's so many things people are excited about but I am truly excited about life when the enemy tried to snatch me out when I was younger God blocked it. God had another plan. When he thought that he would kill me, God had another plan. When he thought that he would just destroy my future, God had another plan. Because he told me in Hebrews 10 and 36, not to throw away my confidence. And even when hardships come, that confidence, that restful confidence that I have in Jesus is now giving me that great reward. Do I have it all? Do I have... All the things that make you feel extremely happy and overjoyed and totally content. I don't have it all. But I've learned like Apostle Paul says to be content in all circumstances. And so I just want to really give the Lord a high note of praise and thanks. It's my birthday, people. <laughs> it is my birthday. Oh gosh. I don't know. Some people don't celebrate birthdays, but I celebrate mine. Because let me tell you, the day I was born was the day that hell got a message and they had a memo that, watch out, this is one sent from heaven. So you better be wary and you better be afraid, devil, because this is one that I have sent. And so I just thank God that he's made me the apple of his eye. He calls me his daughter. I'm a daughter of the king. And I'm so glad to um, be here. You know, um, people ask you... How do you make it in this Christian world? How do I make it? I make it by having a restful confidence in the one who created me. A restful confidence that no matter what happens, I am assured that come hell, come high water, my life is hidden in the palms of Jesus Christ. I can't tell you any other way, any other thing, and I just focus, focus your energies on you, on what what God has for you, the plans God has for you. It's not a selfish position. For those who might say you're trying to be selfish, no, I'm not. You know, in, in the aviation rules or when you're flying, they tell you you need to put the oxygen mask on you first before you can help even your baby. So what am I saying? If you are not in a good state, a good place or a good mental state of being or a good place in life, or you're not content with who you are and where you are, then how are you going to help somebody else? So uh, over the years, I have 
trained myself, taught myself to be content in all circumstances. When they try to kick you out, you just find another way. You trust the Lord, lean on Him. He will make a way. He is the miracle worker. He is a promise keeper. He is the light in that darkness. In those oppressive, dumb, discouraging moments, God is the light. And I'm not just saying this because I want to sound like another person to come online and just start talking about God is the light and God is this and you should love the Lord. No, I'm live. I'm a living testimony of the Lord being your light, being your strength. I think about how many times my heart has been broken and the Lord was the one who was there to mend it. Of course, he gives you family and he gives you friends who are there to support you, help wipe away your tears. When I tell you my joy is complete, the Lord said he will wipe all my tears. It is not a joke. The Lord is making my joy so complete. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. And it's not, I didn't get a whole thousand and a hundred thousand dollars. I didn't win the lottery. And then I am just happy in the Lord. For his promise to me is, if I am remaining strong and courageous, he says, be strong and be courageous. Do not be afraid for I am going to be with you wherever you go. I'm just glad that I have these promises. Like he said in Hebrews 10, don't throw away confidence for it has a great reward. And I am coming into those rewarding seasons. I might have cried last week. I might have cried yesterday. I might even cry tomorrow. But at the end of the day, my restful confidence is in the one who holds my future. And so I just thank him that he is more than able to handle this heavy load. <laughs> Everything that concerns me. So I just give him praise and thanks that God is so faithful. You know, he's given me the power over the works of darkness. And I thank him that he is making all the crooked paths, all the rough patches, all the things that seemed like they were never going to come to pass or come true, God is making them happen. And if he can do it for me, he can do it for you. And there's a song that everyone likes me to sing, and I sing it because it also ministers to me. It's, it's He'll do it again. And it says, you may feel down and feel like God has forgotten you. The Lord has not forgotten you. So I'm going to sing this one a cappella style for you. And I um, pray that it will bless your heart. Okay. Oh, by the way, compliments to Starbucks. I got me some nice, uh, what do you call it, pineapple juice. So, so far, the bread, the gifts have been coming in. Thank you, Starbucks. Ah, Starbucks. Yes. They gave me bread dairy rewards, and I was so glad to use it. Mm. Okay, so I see my mom is online. Hey, mommy. Hey, I'm live. I'm liver. <laughs> okay. I try to think like my mother. Okay, where is, uh, where is it? Let me just go on her page and just tell her. So my mom, who's supposed to be here to celebrate with me, is not here. Hi, mama. I'm live. Trying a thing like you. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. So, uh, Uncle Leland just came in and he said, Bonita, I love your song, Blessed Assurance. I hope you do more songs like that in that style. I said, okay, I'll, I will work on that. It's a work in progress. <laughs> but, um, yes, yes. Hold on. Let me just share this thing on my... I was supposed to share it on my page. Right? Y'all gotta bear with me. This live business is, is really new to me, okay? I... <laughs> I try my best, but, you know, sometimes I don't always get it. Hi, Tracy. Thank you for the birthday greeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My birthday life. Ooh -wee. Hi, Mommy. You finally come online. <laughs> I try to think like you, girl. 
Hi, Tracy. Tracy Dennis. Uh, thank you for all the greetings. Oh, by the way, let me just use this opportunity to say thanks to everybody. I'm sorry. I'm multitasking. It's a bad habit. That's why I really can't do these live stories because I just do multiple things. A million or one things at one time. But I would like to say thank you to everybody who's been sending me birthday greetings thus far. I woke up this morning and my phone was blowing up. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who's been sending me birthday greetings. I really appreciate it. Thank you to uh, everyone who sent me cards already, who gave me hugs, sent me kisses. Oh, watch into the camera. I know. <laughs> I'm on the computer and I'm on the phone trying to share the thing. So, you gotta allow me a little bit. So yeah, before I sing, I wanted to say thanks to everybody um, who's been sending me wishes. Thank you, Jermaine. Jermaine Damid, my partner for life. Yes! For the greetings to you and your beautiful family. Thank you. Thank you to the uh, White Emperor, Elder Keith Anderson, all the way in my homeland in Guyana, celebrating with their church, Lighthouse Ministries International Guyana Branch. Thank you, Tracy. And hi, Mommy. Thank you for coming on. You like my dress? I know I like it too. I dressed up today, right? <laughs> I even did my face. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, I wanted to sing this song. Um, he'll do it again to encourage somebody. It's totally a cappella. I don't even have my, my um, speakers don't work. I'm so sorry about that, but I put it my song will bless your heart, okay? And this song is my own testimony. And God is able. Hey, big up, big up, big up, Irie, Jamaica, and Guyana. Yes, yes, Brother Keith. <laughs> I think I'm half Jamaican, by the way. Anyhow. You may feel down and feel like God has somehow forgotten that you are faced with circumstances you can't go through and right now it seems like there's no way out and you're going under but god's proven time and time again he'll take care of you oh you may feel down and feel like God has somehow forgotten that you are faced with circumstances you feel you can't go through. And right now it seems like there's no way out. And you're going under But my God's proven time And time again He'll take care of you And He'll do it again For you He'll do it again if you just take a look and where you are now and where you've been hasn't he always come through for you he's the same god as them you may not know how you may not know when but he'll do it again you see god knows the things that you go through he's seen how you're hurting and he understands just how your heart has been broken in two but he's the God of the sun, the stars and the sea. He is your father. And he'll find a way 
to calm your storm and fix it for you. And he'll do it again for you. He will do it again. If you just take one look at where you are now and where you've been, hasn't he always come through for you? He's the same now as then, yeah. You may not know how, you may not know when, but he'll do it again. Oh, he's still God, and he will not fail you. No, he's still God. He'll never fail. Oh, he's still God. And he's fighting for you. Whoa, yeah. Just like Moses. And just like Daniel, just like Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, he'll do it again for you. God will do it again. If you just take just one look and where you are now. And where you been, hasn't he always come through for you? He's the same now as then, oh yeah. You may not know how, you may not know when, but he'll do it again, oh yes. You may not know how, oh no, and you may not know when. You may not know how, you may not know when. When God will do it again. He'll do it again. Ooh, yes. He'll do it again. I just want to tell you that God will do it again. If you think that this is the best, the best is yet to come. God is a God of second chances. He's the one that will turn your situations around. And he will do it again and again and again and again for you, again for me, again for your generation, again for our children, again for marriages, again for nations. The Lord said that it is his will that we will prosper be in, and be in good health. Our joy is going to be complete when we abide in the Lord and he abides inside of us. For he is the true vine and we are the branches so therefore we have assurance of complete joy do not throw away your confidence because in the right time it will be greatly rewarded i bless you i thank you for all of the birthday greetings all of the blessings all of the wishes on whatsapp on facebook and text messages and the calls and the voice notes and instagram and on twitter Oh my gosh, it's so overwhelming, but I am grateful. I'm so glad that I can have not just friends online, but family and friends in person who love me and who will celebrate with me. Thank you, Brother Alvarado, for your greetings. Let me just see what you were saying. Thank you for... Ah, gracias, 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 Manuel Alvarado. Oh, cumpleaños feliz para mí. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Brother Key. Thank you, Mommy. Hi, Nicola. Jones, thank you. Sing one of my new songs. I wish you were here, Mommy. You're supposed to help me with the stream. I'm not a stream person, remember? 
But you know what? I have this little, um, let me see if we got any power. Bear with me. It is Perry waiting it's... for device. Okay. I should have been, um, how can I, what, what? Paired. Yeah. Who did it pair with? I have no idea. So, I think it paired with my phone. So, let me see if I can play, if I click this button, will it come off? All right, for y'all who's still on there, just, just be patient with me. <laughs> okay, where is the thing?